On this episode of the Mental Health Today Show, I'm talking about how self-awareness is vital to your emotional health. Welcome back to the Mental Health Today Show. My name is John Cordray, and I'm a national certified therapist. And today I want to talk about how your self-awareness is vital to your emotional health. You've got to know what makes you tick. You got to know your weaknesses. You got to know your strengths and admit them. So self-awareness has everything to do with being just being truthful with yourself, being honest with yourself. You're not perfect, so don't act like it. Don't pretend that you're perfect. Being self-aware is acknowledging that you're not perfect, looking at your weaknesses, asking yourself, what areas in my life do I need to work on? And admit it. There's no shame of, of knowing that you have weaknesses because we all have weakness. That's what it means to be a human after all. But to be self-aware is not to be down on yourself. Don't get depressed if you have all a longer list of weaknesses than you do strengths. It's important to look at both your strengths and your weaknesses. And a lot of people go to either extreme. And that's why self-awareness is so important to your emotional health. On one end of the spectrum, you look at all your weaknesses, all the things that you're not doing well. Maybe you've messed up in your life. Maybe you've messed up in relationships. And so you focus on what you don't do well. And you look at everyone else around you and what they're doing is better than what you're doing. And you get down in yourself. You have these thoughts, these negative thoughts that you're no good, that you're a failure, that, that you're not good enough. If you focus all, only on your weaknesses. Now the other side of the spectrum, when you only focus on your strengths and you pretend that you have it all together, but on the inside, you're not, you don't have it all together. So many people go to great lengths to have what I call a veneer on the outside, a mask. And they don't want people to see their weaknesses. They don't want people to see the, the, what's really going on inside. And so they pretend to be somebody that they're not. And so having, not having self-awareness, you're gonna either pretend that you have it all together or you're going to focus on the weaknesses and allow that to interfere on your emotional health. And so being self-aware is to acknowledge, yeah, I have weaknesses. I'm going to work on those weaknesses, but I also have strengths and I'm going to celebrate those strengths and I'm going to use those strengths that I have to help other people. Being self-aware is knowing when to take breaks, knowing when to slow down. If you are a workaholic and all you do is work, 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 work at home, work at work, work on vacation being self-aware is to realize okay i have to put some limits on myself i need some boundaries in my own life when it comes to work being self-aware it helps you understand your limits it helps you to understand in your relationships and if you can learn to be self-aware your relationships will grow automatically because you can say yeah you know what i'm working on that you can say that i have to do this in my own life i'm making a change in my life you don't have to be stuck you don't have to be thinking well i hate my life and there's nothing i can do about it but you can you still have time you still have lots of time left in your life and so to be self-aware is to acknowledge, yeah, okay, I've made some mistakes, I've made some things that I, I, I'm not proud of, but I can move forward and I can improve myself. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, I don't have a, a terrible past. And that's great, but you can still improve your present and improve the future then. 
you, you, if, 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 to, for parents to be self-aware, they're going to pass it on to their children. For employers and, and, and bosses and CEOs to be self-aware, they're going to pass it on to their employees. For pastors to be self-aware of who they are and their weaknesses and their, their tendencies, that will help the congregation. Do you see how this helps? How learning self-awareness about who you are, what makes you tick, can actually improve your emotional health, can actually improve your relationships. So practice learning how to be self-aware. And don't get so down on yourself for your weaknesses, but also don't be so proud of yourself and kind of just show off your strengths. You gotta find the balance. You gotta find when you need to take a break, take a break. When you need to do work and work hard, then work hard. Being self-aware is an individual thing. You can't make someone else to be self-aware. You can only work on yourself. So my encouragement is start right now on becoming more self-aware. Do you need to improve things? Do you need to add things to your life? Or maybe you need to take things away from your life that's negative. So you decide. And I want you to work on your self-awareness. And when you do, your emotional health will grow as well. That's all for today on the Mental Health Today Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. And until next time, take care of yourself.